And welcome in, Wrexham fans. Hope you're having a great day getting ready for the game against Barrow FC, AFC, I should say. Get it right, Steve. But anyway, I hope you're getting ready for the game. Things are looking good. I'm going to give you some real good in details on this one, but you've got to say, it's the Bluebirds, and that's not the Bluebirds from Wales, but it's the Bluebirds from Barrow AFC taking on the Red Dragons this weekend. And I'll tell you what, you're going to enjoy this show going through i'll tell you why i'm wearing this shirt and you're like why is he wearing that shirt what is that shirt who is that club i'm going to tell you at the end of this and why and you're going to laugh your asses off as well another thing to make you have a good laugh at the end of this video and this, this is not the longest pre-game in the world but at the end of this video there's another reason why you want to stick around and be able to laugh your ass off. And I guarantee some of you guys are going to replay that video at the end about Fenton. Just remember Fenton. It's it's so funny. I replay it. When I'm feeling like I need a laugh, I, I hit that button. Mate. I'll tell you what, I'm laughing like this. You will be too. So if you hate me and you hate football, just go straight to the end of this and catch that now. And you will laugh your asses right off. And you'll come back and start all over again. Because like I say, short show, great show, lots to get through. What are we going to get through? Well, I'll tell you what, it's 1901, our, our famous Barrow FC taking on 1864, Wrexham AFC. But bit of news in midweek, the reserves played Barrow AFC and we got shawacked 5-1. Well, Hold on, hold on, hold on. The reason why we had a very young team out there, two 16-year-olds and two 17-year-olds, I'm not going to name anybody, but you've got to say, when you've got young kids on the park, sometimes that experience from other teams does factor, and it did in that game, absolutely. 5-1 loss, but let's make it up with the first team on the road. And you're going to love this. We've got some great information about Barrow, form, players, and everything else. So get, get ready for this. Also going to show you the table. Let's have a quick look at the table right now if you want to. I mean, you don't have to, but there's a quick blip for you. And there's the table. We're going to talk about that in detail very sure. No more teasing, I promise you. But listen, it's going to be a laugh all the way. Remember the end. You're going to laugh your asses right off. And you will replay it again and again. So moving along. We will show you the table as we go through this. We're going to look at the recent form as well. We're going to look at Wrexham games coming through till the end of August and also form as well from Barrow. So take a look at this. Okay, looking at top of the league, Gillingham on top, four for four, four wins from four, 12 points. Perfect so far, not even a goal against. Wow, what a great start. Milton Keen Dons. Yeah, we know about them. They took three points off fast game one. They're sitting second on nine. AFC Wimbledon, we just played them away. That was a 1-1, one, one, and they're on eight points. From fourth to seventh, we've got Accrington, Stanley, Salford City, Barrow, and Morecambe all on seven points. I'll just say this much. The game coming up against Barrow on the weekend, if uh, if we can get a good result there, we can go, you know, literally, we can, we can start walking our way up that table. I mean, literally from, you've got to say, look at it straight on, from fourth all the way to 15th. It's only two points, so plenty to play for, lots to happen. And like I say, if we can get a win, it'd be absolutely fantastic. So there you go, moving along real quick. Remember, you're going to laugh your asses off at the end of this. You really will laugh your you-know-what's off all here. And you'll replay it again and again, because like I say, I laugh about it too. Now, you've seen what we've got about the form and the tables, what not, what we just talked about. Now, get ready for the EPL top scorers and assist kings moving through to this point. You'll love it, because we do factor in there with two big players, and one of them I absolutely love. In fact, I love both of them. Okay, let's take a look at League Two goal scorers and assist leaders. Will Evans, obviously, on top for the goal scorers from Newport County. But in second spot, our very own Elliot Lee is doing pretty nicely too. Four goals from four games from Elliot Lee. He's doing really well, like I say. And I have, I have a soft spot for all the players, but... My favourite is Elliot Lee. I think you know that by now. But moving along, we've got to take a look at the assist leaders as well. And none other than Jacob Mendy is leading that race as well. So we got two Wrexham players high up in the scoring charts and high up in the assist charts. And Jacob Mendy, four games in, three goals. So there you go. That's what we've got going on in the leaders on the goals and assists. Before we move on, here's a picture. I'm going to tell you about this one pretty shortly. Have a look at that. At the end of this video, you are going to laugh your asses right off. And I guarantee you, you'll be replaying that, that short video that I have planned for the end of this video. You will laugh your asses right off. Moving along. So there you go. Get ready for the game. I tell you what, I'm thinking that 
it's a bit of a trip. It'll be a good trip. It's a place to go. You've seen the form. You've seen what's happened recently. And you've seen the, the goal-scoring assets, what we've got in the assist king in Mendy. And obviously a, a goal-scoring asset in Elliot Lee. But I just can't wait for Paul Mullins to get back as well. And it's a fair ways off. I think that maybe at least a month. I think it's at least a month. I mean, a punctured lung, it can be it can be short-term. It can be long-term. But you can't rush it. But anyway, that's what we got for you. Now to finish off, I've been telling you, you're going you're gonna to laugh your asses off, and you will. Get ready for Fenton. This is coming next, but I tell you what, get ready for the game. And with everything being in my power, and that being the point, if we don't have power, there'll be no post-game. Because recently, I don't know what Mr. Power Man's doing around my place, because we live in the country. But off and on, the internet dies, which never happened. The power dies, which never happens. So I hope it's short term. But anyway, there's the pregame. Enjoy it. Get into it. Down below, drop a comment. Like, subscribe. Subscribe and like. Pass it all around. And let's get ready for the next game too. But the first one coming is Barrow. And after that, Bradford FC. Get ready for it, guys. And remember, please like, subscribe, and tell us what you're thinking down below. Cheers. Now, to finish off the show, we got something funny for you. And from now on in, we're going to bring funny videos to end the show. So you got something funny to, to go along with your day. But look at the yellow circle. Focus in on that. Focus in on what's ahead of it. Now have a good old laugh at Fenton and his owner. Enjoy. <laughs> 